was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what's the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When to my wondering, eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courser they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves as were before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house, to the top of the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. <laughs> he was all dressed in fur from head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. He had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. The 
His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight with his teeth. And the smoke in it circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. The wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laid his finger aside of his nose and gave a nod and up the chimney he rose.